Hello, my name's Rachel Ritchie. I'm one of the librarians that supports the Faculty of Health. This short video will show you some advanced searching tips to help you find the best literature for your research topics. The first step when you're conducting research is the planning. So before you start searching in the databases, make sure you spend some time planning your search. So this involves looking at your research topic to identify the key concepts. Then once you know the key concepts, you can identify the keywords and synonyms or alternative words you will use to search for each concept. For example, my research question is, does practicing self-care lead to greater resilience for social workers? This question has three concepts, self-care, resilience and social workers. In this table, you can see that I have started typing the synonyms or alternative words for each concept. So for self-care, I have self-care with a space in between the two words. I have self-care with a hyphen in between the two words. I have self-management. And then for resilience, I have resilience, strength, coping, and so on. You can also see I've started to use advanced search operators, such as double quotation marks around two or more words that I would like to search as a phrase. I've used the asterisk symbol at the stem of certain words this will find alternative word endings. So in this example for resilient, it will find resilient with the T on the end, but also resilience with the CE. Down here in Counselor, I've also used what's known as a wild card. And uh, this example is a hash symbol. And what that tells the database to do is search for the alternative spellings of Counselor. So that will search for counsellor where it has one L, but also counsellor where there are two Ls. So once you've spent that time planning your search, you can open up the databases and start conducting your search. So I'm in my SCU here. I'm just going to click on the left hand side under the LibGuides heading, the Health, Human Sciences and Social Work heading. Scroll down and you'll see a LibGuide for Social Work and Community Welfare. If you haven't already, I recommend bookmarking this library guide because it provides you with the best place to start your research. You can see we've identified the key databases here and we also list our recent book purchases and other key online materials. There are tabs on the left hand side for further details on different types of research resources. My top tip for conducting research is to record your searches as you go. On the Journal Articles and Databases tab in the Library Guide, you'll find a box here called Documenting and Recording Your Searches. And inside this box is a link to a Word document template. By recording your searches as you go, you will save yourself a lot of time. You can imagine that if you get interrupted while you are searching, if you've recorded your search, you will know exactly where you got up to and you won't need to repeat searches that you've already done. Recording your searches also means you can easily copy and paste your search strings in between different databases. So this table just provides you with one example of a way to document your search. You can see it has uh, the date, the database name, the search terms or search string that you've used, any limits you've applied, so that might be a date range or scholarly peer reviewed, the number of results and any notes. You don't have to use this table, just choose a format that works for you. Just remember to include that, that key information uh, so that you have enough information to rerun that search at a later time if you need to. So back in the library guide, I'm just going to start conducting my search and I'm going to start in the EBSCO databases here. You can see here, we've suggested a number of different database titles that you can choose within EBSCO. So EBSCO is a multidisciplinary platform and it actually allows you to search in many different databases and the databases are listed here. You can click on the little more information buttons to find some more details about the type of content available in each database. A useful database to start searching for social work is Academic Search Premier, but there are other useful social work databases here, including CINAHL, and further down the list, there is also APA Psych Articles, the Psychology and Behavioural Sciences Collection, and APA 
Psych Info. The database you choose to search in will depend on your research topic. I also just want to note that although EBSCO does give you the option to search multiple databases at once, when you're conducting a systematic style of searching, I recommend only searching one database at a time. So I'm actually going to scroll back up and just choose to search in Academic Search Premium. So the search page here gives us different search boxes and it's designed really to help us structure our search. The idea here is that we place each of our key concepts on a, on a search line. So I'm just going to start typing my search terms in here. So I've got self-care or self-management with the two ways that might be written. You can see here that EBSCO, as I start typing, actually starts to suggest alternative search strings or search terms. And this can be a really useful way to identify other alternative words that you can include in your search. So we just type each concept separate line. So this line is resilient or strength or coping or cope or hardiness or adapt. My third concept is social worker. So I have social worker or case manager or counsellor. And I'll just hit search. So after you have run your search, you can now start applying filters to narrow this down. So we always recommend narrowing the publication date range, so maybe to the last five to ten years. I'll just try the last ten years for this search, so you can just type that date range in the box there. We also recommend limiting your search to scholarly peer-reviewed journals. And depending on your search, it may be useful to also narrow your search down by language to English. You'll see here that there is also a limit for full text. We don't recommend you use this limit because I'm going to show you a way that you can find the full text articles even if they are not available within this particular EBSCO database. It is important not to try and limit your search too much or you may miss potentially relevant articles. So it's not unusual to end up with 100 or more articles in your results list and you will need to spend some time manually screening your results. You might need to read up to 20 abstracts before you choose the top few articles that you want to use in your research paper. Now, if you find that your search has found a large number of articles and many of those articles are not relevant, you could try limiting your keywords to the abstract field. So the abstract is a summary of the article. And so if your keywords appear in the abstract field, it is more likely that your search will find relevant articles. I can limit to the abstract field just by selecting it up here in the search next to the search boxes. Just drop that arrow down and scroll down and click abstract. So I'll just demonstrate changing that for this particular search. So I've now greatly reduced the number of articles to 61. Of course now you will need to start looking at these results to see if they're relevant. You can click on the little magnifying glass icon to the right of each title to view a quick summary of the abstract. Many articles will have PDF full text available for you to download. And if you come across an article that does not have the PDF full text available, you can click these Find It links. What that does is run a search in the SCU library catalogue. And if we have the full text of the article available in a different database, you should be provided with a link to view the full text in that other library database. Another feature of EBSCO is that you can easily change databases without having to retype all of your search strings. So up here above the search boxes, there's a link here that says choose databases. And to, just, to switch databases, I can simply untick Academic Search Premier and tick the box next to the database I'd like to search. So for example, I'd now like to run this search in the APA Psych Info database. So just tick that box and click OK. So I'm now searching APA Psych Info and I can click search. I do just need to reapply the limits. So that was the last 10 years for the date range. I also want to limit to peer reviewed articles. And finally, I'd like to limit that to English. So my search in APA Psych Info has found 46 articles. So once you have mastered the basics of searching, I recommend completing the second module in the library's tutorial for postgraduate students. It's called RAISE, and you can access RAISE just by going to the library homepage, click on the research heading in the middle of the page, and then click on RAISE Research Skills Modules. So if you are interested in improving your search skills further, I recommend clicking on the Extend Your Searching link at the top. This module contains four short lessons on reviewing the literature, 
citation searching, documenting and saving your search, and finding theses in great literature. Finally, if you do need further help from the library in finding relevant literature for your research projects, of course you can contact the library by accessing our chat service here, which is just this search box, uh, sorry, this chat box in the middle of the page. You can email us and as postgraduate students, you can also make a one on one Zoom appointment with a librarian. The link to do that is just on the right hand side here under make an appointment with a librarian. Click on postgraduates, expand health, human sciences and social work and just choose uh, the librarian that you would like to make the appointment with. Choose your date, time and so on.